was there some destructive side of that at the, through immaturity and inability to understand what was going on? Like, much was made of um, the SNL performance, and mm. you guys were always physical, but there's that moment at the end of the first song where it looks to me like you're definitely <laughs> literally kicking him up the ass. Mm. And I sort of wonder whether or not, and you wrote a bit about that in the book, whether it was just, you know, that was kind of, I guess, step one in understanding how to process that and how to deal with other human beings in that environment. Yeah, we were both quite foolish at that stage you know we talked about it earlier you know i wanted things the way i wanted it and he wanted it the way he wanted it and he may have been more evolved in some ways and and less in others but he disappeared and somehow we did survive yeah. and um had this very interesting era with dave navarro and john went down as far as he could and then you know just the whisper of a ghost saying hey you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gone yet. And we're like, okay, let's do this. Um, Californication, by the way, Stadium Arcadium. And then he did make a holistic decision. He's like, it's not for me. It's too much, too much attention, too much travel, too much chaos, too much energy, all of it, all of it. And so he he walked away, and and I think he needed a, a solid twelve years of processing all of that which he was kind of willing to do, um, slowly. Like, who are these people? What do they mean to me? What have we done together? Yeah. You know, what do I really, what life do I want to live? Smart, really. I mean, to have the presence of mind to kind of realize that life is more than the sum of this, these parts and the sum of all this and, yeah. you know. Yeah, super smart. And I think he figured out that as, as difficult as that situation could be it's like it's just life and yeah. it's just an opportunity and it's just being in a band and maybe i can find a a better way to do this